Today's video is going to be replacing the shoes on the Sentra. So once you get it jacked up and supported, you go ahead and take off the drum. The drums are getting turned at the moment, so I don't have them to show you. But if it's hard to get off, it's a or M8 by 125 bolt, and you just screw it in there, and it pushes against this hub, and it pulls the drum off. Once you do that, now you have access to the shoes. To understand how this all goes together, go ahead and leave one side exposed and just work on one side so you have something to reference. I'll go ahead and clean it off. We're gonna go ahead and loosen up the adjuster. You pull down on the tab and cycle it up. We're gonna go ahead and take off these hold down clips. With that off, you can go ahead and take it off its mounts and bring it closer to be able to take off the spring. We're gonna go ahead and take off the spring. Put that to the side. Now you got your forward shoe. You have your adjuster. And the last thing holding on this rear shoe is a spring. Go ahead and grab the plate, push against the spring, pull the cable down, and you pull it right out. Got a new shoe. Now we're just gonna reverse everything. Now we got the shoe on. Gonna go ahead and add some grease to the backing plate. Gonna pull up, put up our shoe, push our pin through. Now we'll put our hold down clip. We're gonna leave it flexible for the moment while we get everything situated for our springs and everything. Our forward shoe, this slotted area is gonna be on top. This is what's gonna hold our adjuster in it. This is what holds our adjuster. So we're gonna go ahead and place it. We're gonna go ahead and install our lower spring. With this loose, we're gonna go ahead and install our spring, our upper spring. It's easier to do it with the shoes loose than in place. So we'll go ahead and put it in on one end. Now with the spring in place, even though it's cockeyed, this is a lot easier just to pull it back with one end on the piston. Push out on the shoe, hold it on the piston, and then put this piece of the shoe on the piston. Now our shoes on springs are in place. We're gonna go ahead and push in our adjuster. Now we'll go ahead and install our adjuster. And in place, you can see now it's loose. We're gonna turn it until it's butted up against the shoe. Now with the resurfaced drum, we can go ahead and put it back on. We're going to get it close to where it's touching to minimize the adjusting process. You can see it's barely touching right now. We're going to go ahead and adjust it out a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and leave it right there. And just for reference, this is how the adjuster works. When this gets pressed, this little plate moves on the wheel, and when you let it go, It'll adjust it out. And on this side, you can see it slowly unscrewing. Now with that adjusted, we can go ahead and put our wheels on and go for a drive. 